Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to show you a TPU Python Flex from Form Futura. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is from Form Futura and it's called Python Flex. It's like a semi-flex TPU. It's quite hard for a flexible, but still has some some flexibility to it and they say it's uh, easier to print at higher speeds and i was able to print with this at 40 millimeters per second on a bigger pieces but uh, for finer details i needed to print uh, just like a normal tpu at 10 to 15 millimeters a second because of temperature uh, of the filament it needs to have time to cool down so I'm going to show you a close-up of the prints I did. So one of the first prints I did was this printing test. Um, it came out pretty bad. <laughs> it finished all the printing, but a lot of drooping. Um, it was looking not so good. A um, lot of strands. The thermal properties of the material make, make it so that it takes a long time to cool down. So the strands were drooping a lot. So it was... Uh, not coming out very great. So as you can see, it's very, very rough on the bottom side, but on the top side, it looks quite okay. So you're not going to do very good bracing with this filament. Um, I did those breaking tests, and those were standing up like this, and I was testing out the print speed. And when I was printing at 40 millimeters per second, it was looking quite good on the bigger part. But when it had a very small part to print, it needed to be slowed down. And I was slowing it down to 10 millimeters per second. And here in this one, it came out pretty good at 10 millimeters per second. But from one side, uh, it was looking a little bit worse than the other side. And that's probably because of the or orientation of the cooling fan. So it really needs to have some time to, to slow down when you're doing fine details like this but this is really tough filament and I've been trying to bend this and break it and it just bends and goes back to its shape and it's really difficult to, to destroy it. So it's a very strong material and, and flexible. It's, it's somewhere, uh, I would say medium flexible. It's quite, uh, quite difficult to bend it, but uh, it bends nevertheless. Um, and then printed out this gasket just to create a mechanical part. And that came out pretty decent. The top layer wasn't very pretty, but it was uh, flexible and very strong. And it's, I can't, there's no way I can break this gasket by pulling on it. It's very strong because of the, how the material lays down. It is super strong. I then printed out this overhang test and here at uh, 60 degrees, it was starting to fail and cuts on. So I canceled the print. But here at 45 degrees, it was coming out pretty good and no, no issues. Just after a while in the 60 degrees, it went, uh, went bad. So to 45 degrees overhangs you can do with this material. So I think that's quite good for a flexible material. So, um, as you can see, it can bend this in all directions and I'm absolutely unable to, to break it. <laughs> it was just twist and, and not give in. I then printed out my maker coin and this one I printed at a 20 millimeters a second and it was coming out pretty good on this side and there's a slight issue here at the top because of cooling but otherwise the print came out pretty good. The letters are not very visible because of the layers melt together but or that the, the face came out pretty good and the backside here was working quite well so I was quite happy with it but this model is with the infill and it's rather stiff I can bend it just a, just a little bit but not too much um, and here's my Mr. Belly print I did and here I want to show the stringing uh, this material was giving me quite, quite a number of stringing issues but I think that's expected of a TPU and maybe you can adjust some settings to get this to work better but the print itself came out pretty good and, but here in the neck area you can see how 
the layers were melting too fast and I really had to slow it down. And so the print quality of the model was pretty good up to this point, but it was printing too fast. So even though you can print it faster than a normal TPU, like they say, it still needs the temp time to, to set. So if it's a small detail part, you have to slow it down. But I think it's a good option for a TPU, so that is if you need a semi-flexible TPU. So that was my quick look at the Python Flex from Form Futura. This was a Megabox sample I got. And and with the Megabox samples, I always try to print a few things that I see suitable for practical use of the filaments. And for things like the gasket, I think this can be a very good filament and it's super tough to, to tear it and it's super strong. So uh, this is something that you should have a look at if you're looking for a flexible but easy to print filament. You can print it a, a lot faster than a, a very soft TPUs. So it's a good good thing to try out. For this will be it for this video. I hope you like this video and, and subscribe and comment and share. I really appreciate it when people comment on my videos. So please please do that if you if you like or dislike this video, tell me why. <laughs> so for now I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.